A lot of my favorite words have to do with how they sound. They have to be fun to say. Um, a word that is juicy, if you will. Hi, I'm Roshni Chakshi. I'm the author of the Arusha and the End of Time series with Rick Riordan Presents. Uh, book five actually just came out in April, so this series is officially done. Um, and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about this book series and my favorite work. So this book follows the adventures of Arusha, uh, and Arusha is so much more than she thinks she is. She is actually the reincarnation of an ancient legendary demigod from Hindu mythology. And um, that's kind of all you really need to know to go into the story. I'm very bad at summarizing. I have a tendency to give away all my secrets all at once. So I will leave you with this vague pitch. If you enjoy Sailor Moon, if you like Percy Jackson, if you love mythology from all around the world, I'm fairly certain you're going to find something to enjoy in these pages. So uh, to answer the question about my favorite word, a lot of my favorite words have to do with how they sound. They have to be fun to say. Um, a word that is juicy, if you will, um, <laughs> which sounds odd, but my teeth have to enjoy saying it. That's even odder to express. Anyway, uh, one of my favorite words is actually Ophidian, which means serpent-like and does not, unfortunately, make it inside the pages of this book, which is something that perhaps I'll have to correct in later issues. But the word that I want to pick for this one is da -da -da, quest. Quest. It's so much fun to say. I mean, the more you say it, your brain does slowly sort of dissociate from the meaning of it, but there's so much mystery there. Quest comes from the Latin word quirare, which means to ask or to seek. And I love that because every adventure is sort of a question. What do you want from this? What are you looking for? And most importantly, what will you find? Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, I very much hope that you enjoy Arusha and the End of Time.